Ooh, team keep it clean what's up baby what's going on this ain't graven here with another video and in this video well actually before we get into this video me and my wife and carter we were out eating at a restaurant with some of our friends and we ran into somebody from team keep it clean so shout out to my guy brinston who we met today appreciate you watching the videos huge shout out to you and it was really real 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 nice meeting you so much much love to you man now, these Ravens, um, we got a couple of updates before the game tomorrow because the Ravens have ruled some people out, put some people on injured reserve, signed some people to the active roster, and it's just, you know, Ravens got to make a million moves and a half uh, before each and every game. And if you didn't know that, last year should have definitely taught you that lesson. But anyway, Ronnie Stanley, who I said I didn't expect to play at all going into this game. I still don't expect Kyle Hamilton to play at all going into this game. Ronnie Stanley has officially been ruled out. So he will not play. He is not active. He ain't playing against the Jacksonville Jaguars. So that is a blow, but it's a blow that the Ravens are prepared to deal with. Um, they obviously signed Patrick McCarry to that contract extension last season, uh, drafted Daniel Falele, so they got some options there at the left tackle position. Um, so while Ronnie, obviously it will be much better to have Ronnie Stanley out there, I think they should be fine. The quality obviously drops off from Ronnie Stanley to anybody who's under him on the Ravens roster, but the Ravens are better prepared for this than they have been in the past. Um, also, Jalen Armour Davis, double whammy for him because he is not only inactive for the game tomorrow, they had ruled him out, um, but they also placed him on injury reserve. So he'll be out at least for the next four games, at least. This could, I uh, will see, but this could be the end of his rookie season, uh, which I think he would say has probably been a disappointment. Um, injuries kind of slowed him down and whatnot because I know he didn't play at all in the preseason, uh, and then he just could never quite get it going. Um, but we'll see. We can't say it's the end of his season yet because there's still plenty more games to go, and obviously, hopefully, the playoffs, but we'll see. But the Ravens placed him on injury reserve. Uh, Lamar Jackson, who they took him off the injury report with the hip injury, so he's good to go. It was always the expectation that Lamar Jackson will play. Um, so he's good now. Uh, Kyle Hamilton, Devin DuVernay, um, Gus Edwards, Demarcus Robinson, they are all questionable um, for the game tomorrow against the Jaguars. Now, somebody who was questionable was Isaiah Likely. But he likely did not make that trip to Florida with the Baltimore Ravens. So he is officially out. Isaiah likely will not play, so this would lead a lot of us to believe, because you know the Ravens got to have at least five tight ends active uh, on game day. So Mark Andrews, uh, Nick Boyle, Josh Oliver, who has been a pleasant surprise when he's gotten his opportunities this year, Pat Ricard, and even though Pat Ricard, he's, he's a tight end, he's an offensive lineman, he's a fullback sometimes, he's wide receiver one, he's, he's everything you need him to be, right? And then it would lead us to believe that uh, Charlie Kolar is going to be making his debut for the Baltimore Ravens. Um, so we'll see what happens with that. Um, but yeah, Isaiah likely is out. So Ravens won't have to have that problem, I guess, of uh, trying to get him and Mark Andrews on the field at the same time. Because, you know, like they, they ranted and raved about having both of them and what they could both do and this and that. But they were just having trouble just finding a place for these guys. But anyway. Anyway, um, also, somebody who a lot of us have been wondering about, especially since that Saints game, hey, my guy, he, he's been doing his Pilates. He's been stretching a lot more uh, with the Ravens. They have called up Deshaun Jackson for the game tomorrow against the Jacksonville Jaguars. So Deshaun Jackson will be playing. Like, you know he's going to play. Like, uh, especially Devin DuVernay is going to play. Demarcus Robinson, if he's active, he'll play. He should be active. I, th I think he'll be straight. Um, but Deshaun Jackson, he's he's going to be that sort of that, that third guy for the Ravens. Uh, he's going to be that third guy over Proche, over Tylen Wallace, over anybody else. Um, but he's going to be playing tomorrow. So that's good news, especially with how he looked um, when he did play. When the hamstrings were feeling right, he, he was straight. So we'll see how it goes. They also uh, called up linebacker Julian Stanford. Um, I'm not sure. I'm not familiar with his game. I did not know he was on a practice squad, so um, they, but they called him up. So maybe they maybe they have some an injury at linebacker. Maybe they um 
maybe Josh Bynes is going to be inactive and they just want even more. Depth. I don't I don't know. I'm not sure what to make of that. But I mean, obviously, something's going on with them at linebacker. And Josh Bynes has been out the past couple of games. So I would think him haven't heard anything about Roquan Smith or Patrick Queen or Malik Harrison or Bowser. Well, haven't heard anything about any other linebackers being hurt. So we'll see tomorrow, I guess, when the active inactives come out. Um, and then Daryl Worley, again, Daryl Worley is like, this dude is a transaction machine. Y'all remember Billy Bajima? Y'all remember him? It's the same way. Remember uh, Prescott Burgess, too? How they were on the roster, off the roster, on the roster, off the roster, on the roster, off the roster. It's the same thing that's happening with, with Daryl Worley. Um, but I believe there was an interview where he said that this was the expectation going into the season. Like, the Ravens told him from jump, like, hey, you're going to be moving around a lot and... It's that he definitely been moving around a lot. He might break the record for most transactions uh, on a single team by a single player in a single season ever. Uh, he, he probably done broke it already by how this thing been going. But anyway, um, just wanted to let y'all know about these updates. Team, keep it clean. I love y'all so much. Looking forward to watching the game with y'all tomorrow. Y'all be good. Y'all be safe. Y'all be kind to people. Be good to people. Be nice to people. Uh, but definitely start by being nice to yourself because you can't be nice to nobody else if you ain't nice to yourself. Straight up, man. So take care of yourself. Take care of your mentals. Take care of your physicals. Take care of everything uh, so you can be good, man. And your people can be good. Um, and try to make the best of every situation. I love y'all. I appreciate y'all always watching. I appreciate y'all always supporting. We out.